Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I've got a full review to knock out for you real quick. I'm actually on my way out of the canyon. I wanted to make sure I got close enough to the car that I was confident I could make it before it was completely dark. Um, it's just so hot that I'm having to hike late in the evening, but I've been meaning to do this full review now for about a week. I've had this knife for a couple of weeks now, and I have really packed in a lot of experiences with it. Um, yeah, usually I try to do a full review within about a week, but this is a keeper knife for me, and so I had the time to take my time with it. And I don't really want to like go over the whole story of why I have this knife again, because it's uh, I've gone over it plenty of times in the videos of my Ace Grand, which has led to me getting this one, um, and then in my first impressions of this one and my unboxing and all that. But long story very short, um, the guys at Giant Mouse watched my Grand review and first impressions and in those videos I had mentioned that I had been previously kind of let down by their knives. The, the Biblio specifically was one that I had gotten pretty early when the knife was relatively new for them and I just pretty immediately got rid of it because I was really disappointed. <laughs> I didn't like it. Um, I liked the design but the function of it was it left me left some to be desired for me so i thought it was really cool they reached out to me after that and offered to send me one just to prove that these new batches of this knife are better that they've fixed the things that i found to be faults with it and so i really think that's cool of them I just want to thank them again for doing that. They didn't even say like I needed to make videos about it. There were no strings attached. I could have just taken this knife and been like, yep, it is better. And then put it in a drawer and never talked about it again. And they would have been fine with that. But I really do want to say this knife is uh, all of the things that I didn't quite, that didn't click for me with the first one. This has resolved. This detent is fantastic. And that was the issue with the first one. So I really am glad that they did that. Uh, this one is in the Burgundy Micarta. I don't know if there are still more of these available. Um, I think this is the most recent run that they did. I really like the Burgundy Micarta. This is my first experience with Burgundy Micarta in general. I think it looks pretty cool. It's a little bit purpley, but it also has some kind of like maroon, like almost like brick color showing through. And I just, I really have liked it. I like that it's different too. I keep finding myself taking pictures of it stuck in cactuses, cacti, <laughs> next to prickly pears because it kind of looks like a prickly pear when it's next to them. I get a kick out of it. Anyways, I have carried and used this knife a ton. I find that I've been carrying it most as a secondary knife, back left pocket. That's kind of been my go-to, especially in summer when it's been pretty hot for carrying secondary knives. Um, in the colder months, sometimes I'll carry like in waistband. Um, and sometimes if it's a small enough knife, I'll carry it like coin pocket or watch pocket, fifth pocket, whatever you want to call it. But this one is pushing the envelope for me on secondary knives. It's on the bigger end of what I would put in pocket secondary, but it's a little small to be a primary. If I'm going light, this could be a primary knife for me. I don't feel like I'd be really all that worried that I'd run into a task that this wouldn't handle if this was my primary knife. But I do find lately that I'm more apt to carry knives that are like three and a half, maybe 3.75 inches in blade length for a primary. So that's just kind of where I'm coming at this from. But carrying this as a secondary, it's made it in pocket a ton. And even past the point where I've felt confident that I've used it enough to be able to speak from experience and review it for you guys, I've still been putting it in pocket because I just really like it. Um, I have been thoroughly enjoying, there's a deer up on that ridge. Anyway, <laughs> things are getting crazy. Nighttime in the canyon is a little scary. Anyways, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I really, I like carrying this knife, but more so I like using this knife. It's a little thick for me, if I'm being totally honest in pocket. Not so thick, but it's just kind of, if you look at the profile of it, it's contoured well. It's like these nice kind of rounded scales, but it's pretty thick, especially for a secondary knife. It's kind of chunky compared to what I would typically carry. But what that means for me in hand is when I pull it out and I put it in hand in a like typical grip right here where it feels like you're supposed to be gripping the knife. Come on, focus on the knife. Um... Now that it's getting dark, it's having a harder time. When I grip it here, it's great. I can just barely get my fourth finger on there. It's not too small for me for a full four finger grip. It's close though. But where this knife really shines is when I choke up into the forward choil. 
come on, and I grip it like this. What it does for me in that grip is it just, for the amount of like indexing and control I get over the blade and the sense I have of where the edge is, where the tip is, all of it, the type of cutting I can do like this feels so good to me. And how round it is, how chunky it is, now all of a sudden makes so much sense. I really, really dig it like this. Um, also, the way that Giant Mouse, I've said it before, I'll say it again, the way that they're pl they place their jimping way up forwards, it makes sense. That's where my thumb lands. Even when I'm back here, I find that I extend my thumb up to it and I have greater control. I don't like jimping placed back here when my thumb wants to land here. They get where your thumb goes. I feel like it's not that hard of a science either. I'm not sure why more people don't do that. But in typical giant mouse fashion, again, they also round the spine. It's not as rounded or crowned as it is on the grand. Um, there's still a little bit more of a corner here, but compared to most spines, you can definitely tell this is crowned. They've rounded it and it just feels more comfortable. When my thumb isn't on the jimping and it's back here, it feels so pleasant. And then I can get that jimping and lock in if I want to. Or if I extend my thumb up past the jimping, it's still crowned all the way up here. And I just get all of these, it's just comfortable everywhere. And that's such a good thing. Um, so yeah, my only real kind of negatives about the knife are that in pocket it's a little thick but again I get that because in hand it feels my hand so much better for being a small knife this feels so it fills the hand so well compared to most small knives that I use or carry um, and then in addition to that I think the only other thing that I really am not super on board with is a very trivial thing. <laughs> it's the placement of the pocket clip itself. Because one of my pet peeves is when you use a loop over style deep carry clip. This one's a wire clip, which I love loop over wire clips. They are some of my favorite clips, period. In pocket, in hand, I love the way that they function. I don't mind at all the way that they look. But here, I just don't understand why you take a loop over deep carry style clip and then you don't put it all the way to the butt end of the knife. Because you've taken a deep carry clip and you've made it so far down that the knife isn't deep carry. <laughs> There's still knife sticking out of your pocket. I just don't understand that. And they're not the only offenders of that, but that's something that bugs me personally. It hasn't killed the knife for me at all. I've carried a ton, I've used it a ton, and it hasn't ruined it. I'm not, my preference is deep carry clips, but I don't have to have deep carry on everything I own. It's not a requirement for me. but. I would, I would love it if that was just moved down, and I don't structurally see why it couldn't be also. So, there's that. The things that I love, ergos. Ergos are fantastic on this knife for me. For a small knife, this is one of the best small knives in hand, period, for me, for my hands. I love the way this fills my hand. Um, the other thing that I really, really like is the action which is what I didn't like about this knife in the first place. So the fact that they've got this detent just perfect for the flipper and excellent for the hole. It makes me very, very happy. I love that I can open this knife either way and it's very, very functional. I don't find myself opening it with my thumb, but you totally can. I just, with knives that have holes, prefer to middle finger flick them. So this knife middle finger flicks superbly well. The flipper functions exactly how it should for a flipper knife. It just flies open. It's got a nice commanding detent that makes sure that every single time it is not going to fail on deployment and that is what it should do. So I love the action. I love the crown spine. I love where the jimping is. I love the ergos. Um, I like the weight. It's a little kind of, like I said, chunky in general. It's not super lightweight, but this knife, again, for a small knife, it's not like heavy compared to knives in general. It just feels a little heavy for its size, but I almost dig that about it because it makes it feels more confidence inspiring. It's got a little more weight in my hand. So, I don't know. I just really, really like this knife. I super appreciate Giant Mouse for sending this knife to me just to show me what they're capable of because now I'm a bigger fan of them. And I have no problem saying that to anybody who watches my channel that I have way more confidence now in Giant Mouse having had the Grand. I love the Grand. It is a knife that if I ever let go would be very hard to do so. I just, I adore that knife, still carry it a lot to this day. Um, and then to have this that I really, really like, it's just like, I, I want more of their knives now. 
and I kind of didn't before. I was a little bit more skeptical in the past. So I like that they've kind of won me back over. I think that's a fantastic thing. So I think that's kind of going to be it. I can't think of anything else that I really feel like I need to say about this one other than that I'm changed on it. I really like it. I now get the hype behind the Biblio too. That's something I can't say. So many people have been telling me for so long that the Biblio is one of their favorite knives. And the first one I had just like really dashed that to pieces for me. Um, so now I get it. I get why so many people dig this knife. If you're into knives in this size range, this is an option that I would have no hesitancy to recommend to people because I dig it. I love carrying it. I love using it. I like the way it's ground. I like the thinness behind the edge. The edge they put on it is fantastic. The steel has been performing well. Like this is a good performer and I feel like the pricing on it is fair. I like the materials that they use. The design is just a win as a whole. So a lot of good things to say about this guy. I am going to hike out of here because darkness is falling quickly. I feel like this is doing a pretty good job from what I can see on the monitor, but this canyon freaks me out at night. I've had some little bit scary experiences up here, even in the daytime. So I'm going to hike on out because I am solo and I will see you guys on the next one. Um, sorry for that weird TMI moment, but thank you for checking this out with me. This has been the Giant Mouse Ace Biblio. I appreciate you taking a look as I swat this mosquito off my arm. All right, I'm going to get moving. <laughs> Thanks for watching.